Trolls us behind the persona. Well, that created a shit fest. In this video, I'm just going to address the situation, the reaction, and actually my mistakes in the video. Now, the situation on the grand scheme of things hasn't actually changed. I've been sent some stuff from people, as I asked in my video, but the thing is, no one's actually given me any definitive evidence to conclude anything and actually make any accusations from myself. I'm not going to make any accusations unless I get anything definitive because that would just be retarded. Now I know a lot of people are going to be making videos about the situation, there may even be videos coming out before this video comes out. All I can really say is don't be a fucking idiot about this because I can't stop anyone from making videos and I'm not going to ask anyone not to make videos on it. Just get your facts right because it's a pretty risky situation. But if you do get anything new, just tread carefully. That's all I can say, tread carefully. Now I have spoken to Maya since the video went up and it does seem like she's now got the right to defend herself. People are actually letting her speak up without being memed, which is actually a great thing. Honestly, that was all I was trying to do in the video. I was just trying to shed some light in the situation to help Maya out so she can just talk about it rather than be memed. Because in the past, as I said, She's just tried to talk about it, but she's been mean to take the piss out of because people thought she was bullshitting. But now there's light on the situation and hopefully it can get sorted or hopefully she can just actually defend herself. Now in terms of the reaction, I'm actually quite surprised. I thought I was going to get attacked, but me, Vanilla Rice and VWQ have actually had quite a lot of praise. And I'm not asking for praise, but it's nice to see people are willing to listen and make their own opinions rather than just follow the norm and attack people because I'm talking about something very sensitive to do with a bigger YouTuber. And obviously I can't stop people posting memes and I was aware that people were gonna start posting shit memes when this video gets uploaded. And people have been posting shit like, oh, he's a rapist. Just think about what you're gonna tweet before you tweet it, mate, because it's it's not gonna help the situation, tweeting shit like he rapes children. At the end of the day, it's all just alleged at the moment. There's no conclusion from the police. And until anything comes out from the police, I think that it's best that people just call down on what they're saying on the memes because unless there's any definitive new evidence and before the actual conclusion is made, I don't think we should really say anything too hasty. Like, you know, he rapes kids because that's a bit too far, really. I've had people say as well, why do you act so shifty in this situation? Why not just call them a nonce and stop acting like you're in court? Now, that's actually kind of surprised me because it's made me realise people actually don't understand how big this situation is. If I accuse him of being a rapist, if I accuse him of being a paedophile, with not actually having 100% definitive evidence, well, that's breaking the law because that's slander. And I don't really want to put myself in a legal position at the potential of being sued. Like, I... <laughs> I really don't want to be sued, and that's why I was said in the video, allegedly, about four times a sentence. So yeah, I hope you can understand that now that I don't want to be sued. Now moving on to the actual video, it wasn't actually a perfect video. Now I regret calling him a cunt and saying I don't want to speak to him, because that just gives me a bit of a nasty persona and also makes me a bit hypocritical. I don't want to go all Paul Joseph Watson and call people cunts because I'm making videos on them or because I've heard stuff about them. And I actually did go against my word. I have spoken to Trolls Us. Now it was just a normal conversation. It was a bit weird speaking to someone I've made a video on, especially in some serious context as this. I'm not going to say a majority of what was said in the conversation, but I did ask him some questions and I did ask why he deleted the tweets that referenced nonsense and rape. He said the reason he deleted the tweets is because he knows how the community works as he's been in it for years. He said that he did the same thing with the Austin Jones tweets he had up. He deleted them because he knew it would just cause drama and get a bigger reaction. Now I can understand that, but to me, in the context of how it is now, it does look like damage control, and I've told him this can be perceived as damage control. Because anyone in this situation would probably try and make damage control, and this, to me, seems a bit like that. And in general, the situation remains the same, the evidence is still there, and we can't come to a conclusion until the police come to a conclusion. But the evidence is obviously stacked against him, and I'm not gonna accuse him of anything else, despite people sending me a lot of stuff, but I can't say anything until people give me something conclusive or give anyone conclusive. And you don't even have to give me things. You can just come out about it yourself, you know. In summary, I'm glad that Maya now has the room to defend herself. No matter what you think about her, no matter what bad things she's done, she does deserve the rights to speak up and defend herself. And I do understand they had a two-way toxic relationship in an essence. I should have spoke about how Maya has done some fucking stupid things in the past. Not in terms of a legal perspective, but just showing how they really both are. Some of the shit she said in the past is stupid and some of the shit she's tweeted has hasn't helped her situation because when you say stupid shit a lot of people are just gonna end up not believing you. I know you're probably disappointed because you might have thought I was gonna accuse him of being a nonce in this video. I'm not saying he's not a nonce but I really need some conclusive evidence. Literally mid recording somebody else has come out and said that trolls us nonce them when they were 15 but again 
there isn't any conclusive evidence. The lack of evidence thing is a problem. If you're gonna come out, have some backing evidence because at the end of the day, if you come out and just call someone a nonce, it's just gonna be looked at as slander if you don't have any proof. If anyone does know anything about that sort of thing, just come out about it for fuck's sake. Just literally speak up because everyone will support you even if you are scared. People will support you if you come out about these sort of things. Look at the evidence, build your own opinions, and let's just hope I don't have to make three videos on this like VWQ did with Zaptai. Cheers for watching lads, I really appreciate the support, peace.